Starting from the network setup screen, if I select the device control menu item and then scroll down to hybrid geolocation, I have the hybrid geolocation screen. On this screen here I can see that I have three sites that are available to me. Uh, one of them is in green, where the diagnostics are good, and then I have two sites that are showing bad diagnostics. I understand why the diagnostics are bad, so for this particular demonstration I don't particularly care, and I'm going to go ahead and use those sites. Um, I can select which site to use by selecting a check mark in this box here. In this particular case, I have all three sites selected. So when I request a hybrid geolocation, I'm going to see a direction finding measurement coming from this site almost as soon as I press the button, shortly followed by TDOA measurements, which give me a fixed point uh, at this point here. Uh, you can see I have a fairly small error ellipse in this particular example. If I zoom in, I can see that I have an error of about 83 meters, which is fairly typical for this particular site. If I zoom back out again, I can see that my distance from my measurement site to my uh, target is about uh, 30 kilometers. So I'm about 80 meters in 30 kilometers uh, error, which is pretty small. Uh, if I go ahead and deselect one of these sites and again request a hybrid geolocation. In this particular case I won't have uh, multiple TDOA measurements. I will only have one between this site and this site because this site has been deselected. In this particular case here you can see my error ellipse is a little bit larger because I'm now relying on my liner bearing and my TDOA measurement only. If I then select this site and deselect this site you can see the site is now opaque. This site is now filled in and if I again request a geolocation, or a hybrid geolocation, I'm sorry, uh, you can see that I have a liner bearing coming through this side here, and then I would expect to see an isochrone coming from this side here. If I zoom in, you can now see that I have an error on the order of uh, 300 meters in this particular case. If I now go to uh, being, being hybrid, and I zoom in on the arrow, I will be able to see that this is actually the tower here. If I turn off the fix, it becomes a little bit more apparent that this is the actual uh, transmit tower uh, for this uh, particular FM station.